Who is this man? Larry Finkelstein, this is the DA. Come out with your hands behind your head. the whole block except for that lunatic that has the key shack. How big do you think it is? Tom, where, where are you going with this? I'm just thinking that this would be the perfect place for a community garden. Oh, I don't think so. This is very valuable real estate. But it's empty. I mean, people could grow vegetables. Kitty, wouldn't this be the perfect place for your garden club to showcase their beautiful roses? Hmm. I suppose it would. Edward, we're turning this into a community garden. <laughs> Good idea. I like it. Um, are you sure this is something we want to be doing? It's a garden, honey. What could be the harm? I don't know. Just have a funny feeling about it. I was having lunch with a client around the corner, and I know how much you like these. Thank you. Where'd you get all the dirt? Found it in the ground. Amazing. I know. Always the last place you look. Huh? Hey, why don't you go put on some old clothes and come join us? Oh, I'm not really into gardening. Ever try? Well, no. You should. Get your mind off work. It's a great way to unwind. You know what? Maybe I will. A little nature, a little back to the earth, be good for me. Sure. Oh, maybe I'll hit the... Uh, Hemmicker Slimmer website and see if they can overnight that 20-piece garden tool set to me. I'll see you later. Boy, when you unwind, you don't fool around. Hey, Dharma. Hey, Larry, what you got there? What's it look like? Little plants. And if anyone asks, that's what you tell them. Dharma, check this out. Phil, you're here. Kathy and Lena are here. And Larry, you're back in the corner. Perfect. Uh, Kitty, you get the front section as you requested. Wait, she get the whole front section? We are planting prize roses. They need the sun. They cannot be crowded. She take it because her husband company on the land. Uh, Susan, if we sow jealousy in our garden, we're only going to reap bitter fruit. Fine. But how come she's not doing any of the work? Because her husband's company owns the land. <laughs> oh my God, how much is in there? $8,200. This is a deposit slip from Montgomery Industries from 1972. Well, I guess we know who the loser's weepers are, huh? Or we have to return this. No, we don't. We're the finder's keepers. Yeah, would you look at that? March 1972. $8,200. I bet you're glad to get that back, huh? Oh, you bet. You know, uh, when my cat ran away, we offered a $50 reward, and she wasn't particularly worth anything. Oh, that's not true. A pet gives you love. You can't put a price on that. And you were here then. Do you remember somebody losing this money? Well, there was a fellow that worked here. He got uh, fired for stealing a petty cash deposit. He had some crazy story about uh, being chased by a dog and dropping it somewhere. So he was telling the truth. Well, I, I guess about dropping the deposit, but it's uh, just his word about the dog. You know, my neighbors uh, lost their dog and when it was returned, they gave the people $50 and they hadn't even posted a reward. Don't you wish there could be more people like that? <laughs> what a reward! Poor guy, spending all these years accused of a crime he didn't commit. We should go find him and tell him the good news. I got a better idea. Let's find him, tell him we have good news, and see what it's worth to him. <laughs> okay, cool. I think I can take it from here. Well, hey, Greg would kill me if he found out I left you here alone. This place attracts a pretty rough crowd. Hey, hey, 
Hey, Jimmy. What do you got this cold? My ex-wife. Excuse me, um, I was told that there's an Earl Tucker who comes in here sometimes. Do you know him? Can one really know another human being? She's okay. He's over there. Thanks. Want some chicken wings? Chicken wings? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Hi. I'm Dharma. Are you Earl? That depends. I am if there's a drink in it for me. You have a drink already. I'm planning for my future. <laughs> Did you work at Montgomery Industries 30 years ago? Yeah. Now guess my weight. You know, you have been very hard to track down, mister. Mm -hmm. The only address I had was your sister, and when I brought up your name, well, I guess I don't have to tell you, the two of you have issues. Mm. You know, you really should try and find some common ground and rebuild your relationship. She's a nasty old drunk. Well, there you go. Did Fat Tony send you? Because you can tell him to save himself the trouble. I'll break my kneecaps myself. The money from Montgomery Industries 30 years ago? We found it. Good for you. You didn't steal it. You're innocent. Good for me. Is that all you're going to say? You spent your whole life accused of something you didn't do. You're cleared. Hip, hip, hooray. Hey, why don't we get out and go grab a bite to eat? It's a beautiful day out there. It's day? <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? Could you put a little orange juice in this? Just stay where you are. I'll come out. What's up? I brought you ladybugs to help fight the aphid problem. Thanks. Yeah, how's it going in there? Fine, fine. Why do you ask? Well, you just kind of got it all blocked off. That's for shade. Yeah, but it's open on top. That's for sun. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. I just aerated the soil there. Okay. Are you enjoying this? Are you relaxing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Montgomery? Oh, uh, right here. Hey, I'm Alvin Moore from UC Davis. You call? Yes, for soil analysis. Uh, you can start right over here. <laughs> this is your farm? I um, tested the pH myself at red normal, but I don't like the moisture content. <laughs> is this your only farm? <laughs> well, we wanted to be near my folks. They got a spread right over yonder. Listen, Alvin, I've got a big problem. I'm losing a lot of my soluble nutrients. I think that's the least of your problems, honey. <laughs> All right, get your ladybugs. Fresh, hungry ladybugs. Thank you, Dharma. Hey, what do you think Larry's got going on in there? He's quiet. He's happy. Let's not rock the boat. <laughs> Are you having any luck with that guy who lost the money? Oh, Earl, no. I keep going over to talk to him, but he won't talk to me. There's a lot of anger there. Yeah, because yeah. he was falsely accused? Yeah, well, also a little because of me. You've been drinking all day. The last thing you want is a giant blonde chick jumping out of your bushes when you come home. Hey, 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 what you doing? What does it look like we're doing? We're spraying for the damned aphids. We got the ladybugs. Well, don't worry. If we have any left over, I'll get to them, too. What is that smell? Is that poison? Oh, Kitty, this is unacceptable. You can't spray chemicals in our garden. May I remind you who owns this lab? Oh, it always comes down to that, oh, huh? God. It no one it owns it. the lab. Why don't we go down to City That's Hall and see who owns the lab? Oh, I bet you own City Hall, too, huh? I don't own City Hall, but I certainly own this. What is wrong with you guys? Do I have to remind you that this is a community garden? Let's start acting like a community. Huh? Kitty, give the ladybugs a chance to do their work. And if we need to, we'll use organic pesticides. Everyone else, get off Kitty's back. She's different and she doesn't know any better. We're sorry. <laughs> You are not the boss of the company. Hey, 
Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Donna. Peppy, Lefty, Mrs. Pashnik. Is it all around? He said something about going to France to study cooking at the Cardon Bleu. Hey, Jimmy, you didn't hire a bathroom attendant. You might want to call the cops. Hey, Earl. Oh, she's back. Mm. Uh, have I ever told you how much I've enjoyed your little visits these past few weeks? Well, no, you haven't. Guess why? Hey, listen. I did a little nosing around. Mm. You're kidding, you? <laughs> yeah. yeah you know, you were a pretty well-liked guy at the company. Well, I'm just a regular Miss Congeniality. You know, there's no reason you can't get back on your feet. Yeah. You just hit a little bump in the road. Bump in the road? <laughs> bump in the road? Let me tell you something. It's pretty hard to find your top accounting positions when people think you're a thief. Huh? I lost my house. My career, my fiance, the only woman that ever mattered to me. My dog died. I mean, not then, but later. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. Now you do. You know, I understand you've been through some terrible things, but do you really want to spend the rest of your life sitting in this bar? You know, I, ne I never really thought of it that way. I think I do, yes. So that's it, huh? You want me to go? You're saying there's no reason for me to ever come back here. D did you ever try one of those pickled eggs in the jar over there? Yeah. Well, then. I guess there's no reason for you to ever come back. Here. Okay, look, if you really want me to leave, I'll leave. I really want you to leave. Now, see, you say that, but I don't think you really want me to go. It's on the house. Hi, is this Jeanette McDougal, who used to be Jeanette O'Hara, who is engaged to Earl Tucker, a beloved accountant at Montgomery Industries, 30 years ago, and, as it turns out, was falsely accused of a crime? Oh, no? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Might want to shorten your rap. <laughs> really? People seem to like it. Anyway, that was the wrong Jeanette McDougal. Who's next? Let's see, that brings us to a uh, Miss Jeanette McDougal. Yeah, Donna, have you seen my box of uh, drip irrigation regulators? Oh, yeah, I put them on the bed next to your sun hat and Japanese gardening pants. Nice. <laughs> They're comfortable when you garden. Relax, Greg. I own Japanese gardening pants myself. You do? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, you know who I feel like calling? Jeanette McDougal. AI for me. This is pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Hi, is this the Jeanette McDougal who used to be Jeanette O'Hara, who was engaged to Earl Tucker, who is a beloved accountant at Montgomery Industries 30 years ago and, as it turns out, was falsely accused of a crime? No? Okay, let me ask you another question. Did my rap seem overly long to you? <laughs> really? Here, tell my friend. Please, Jeanette McDougal. <laughs> So I am right. This is my property line. Oh, you a crazy lady. It's a pumpkin vine. It doesn't know where it's growing. Young lady, I suggest you hold your tongue or I'll hold it for you. What's going on here? Her pumpkin vine is choking out my climbing a twelve de halot. Dharma, your father cut off the water to my plot. It runs into his plot and it doesn't run out. Oh, jeez. Larry! Larry's not here. <laughs> you have trespassed. My pumpkin trespass. So you admit it. Mrs. Montgomery? Uh, Russell, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't handle the gardening lawsuits. Hold on. You hired a lawyer? I certainly did. And he is going to make you rue the day that you ever planted these misshapen little pumpkins. Uh, Mrs. Of... Montgomery, let me handle this. Uh, fine. Handle it. Mrs. Wong, I'm Russell Gottlieb. It's Miss Wong. Really? <laughs> 
Maybe this isn't such a good idea. It's a great idea. He's going to be blown away when he sees you. Are you sure he's not dating anybody? <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. Hi, Earl. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you remember Jeanette? Hi, you. <laughs> Hi, Jeanette. You know, Earl, Jeanette's single. Buried four husbands. <laughs> and only three of them were dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. What are you doing? You have no right messing in other people's lives. I just thought if the two of you saw each other. You thought other. I'd want her to see me this way? I think you look just fine, Earl. Mind if I sit down? It's a free country. Maybe you should go, sweetie. <laughs> okay. How'd you do that? <laughs> Wait till you taste these cherry tomatoes right off the vine. Greg. What happened here? Well, there were some problems, but I had the guy from UC Davis back out, and he suggested that I change fertilizers. Hey, Dharma! Look at you. You look great. <laughs> Clean and sober. Uh, drug on love. Oh, you keep saying that. <laughs> Greg, this is Earl and Jeanette. Hi. Nice to meet you. Taste this and tell me if it's not the best cherry tomato you've ever had. Uh. <laughs> there he is. Yes, I just wanted you to know what your son has been up to since the day he showed up, consulting with the enemy. Deb, hi. I, I, was, I was just taking a deposition. A deposition? That's what I am? You're never going to tell him? Tell me what. Dad, this is the woman I love. We're getting married. Before I say what I'm about to say, is there any possible chance you're Jewish? Hey, Jeanette, have you ever tasted jicama right out of the ground? So, Earl, what are you doing here? Well, I was thinking about what you said about reclaiming my dignity. Ooh, this is very good. Wait till you try my snap peas. <laughs> Anyway, I thought about what you said, and I realized that I can't move past this until I sue Ed Montgomery for every last damn cent he's got. What? Yeah, met a lawyer in rehab. Wrongful termination, defamation of character, lost employment. Hi, Dharma. Hey, looks good. Hurry, Ed! Yes, who? Who is this man? You're Ed Montgomery, right? Yes, I'm Ed Montgomery. You own all that. Yes, I'm Ed Montgomery. Yes, I'm Ed Montgomery. Yes, I'm Ed Montgomery. Yes, I'm Ed Montgomery. Y